world is legally obliged to pressure China on Uyghurs, leading lawyers say. Here's a summary of the article. The international community is legally obliged to take action on China's alleged abuse of Uyghur and other Turkic minorities, a prominent group of British lawyers has said, suggesting nations use sanctions, corporate accountability mechanisms, and international treaties preventing racial discrimination to pressure Beijing. China's refusal to be held legally accountable for the widespread and documented allegations did not absolve the global community of responsibility, the Bar Human Rights Committee of England and Wales said in a report released on Wednesday. The BHRC briefing paper, written by some of Britain's leading human rights barristers, underlines a growing push for concrete action against China's crackdown in Xinjiang. On Sunday, the UK Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab accused China of gross and egregious human rights abuses. The BHRC report said other countries should use all available means, including international law, to call upon China to cease human rights violations, and to allow and support independent investigations into the allegations of genocide, murder, extermination, torture, and other forms of ill treatment, and enslavement, and to prosecute offenders. China is a party to several international human rights and criminal law treaties prevention discrimination, genocide, torture and slavery. The global community is not absolved of responsibility because the Chinese state has precluded itself from being found to be legally accountable under most of the usual international legal avenues, Jolly told The Guardian. This post received a score of 95,000, with an upvote ratio of 89%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. We're not obliged to do anything until China attacks Poland. Poor, poor Poland. They somehow became the fuse for world war. Kurva. Kurva, they're on to us. Breaking news, placing an entire group of people in slave labor camps resulting in mass injury, disappearance and death is probably not legal. Edit, you, Archer for Hire 11 asked me to use my top comment to spread some awareness about how we can help. Links to contact your representatives. USA. Australia, Canada, EU, how to write a letter to your representative, if you can, express your disgust for the mass concentration camps in China and genocide of minorities and express your support for your representatives to punish China for violating the right of the people of Hong Kong. More breaking news, also, as current world leaders are so pathetically weak and lacking in morals to pressure China not to enact a new holocaust, let's bring in the lawyers. Further breaking news, accountants have talked with the lawyers, urging them to wait until we have an alternative source of cheap labor. It's cheap compared to North America or Europe but not alternatives in other parts of Asia or South America. What makes China so advantageous is the sheer volume they manufacture at which lowers your material cost coupled with their existing infrastructure and reliability. No nation can really rival them and you can move manufacturing to other countries with lower labor costs but you'll likely incur higher material costs, struggle to find the expertise you need, and may not have as reliable of delivery as you would if you kept manufacturing in China. It's an incredibly complicated problem and even if North America and Europe decided to abandon Chinese manufacturing it's a process that would take decades to pull off. Correct. Result has been a few big tech companies pulling production out of China to avoid intellectual property theft. It's not cheap enough to warrant losing their designs. You would think more companies would be smarter like this but no. Why do you think they're dumb? They thought about loss of intellectual property and decided it was outweighed by the advantages of Chinese manufacturing. I guess it's not that dumb to sacrifice long-term stability for short-term gains as long as you're the one profiting from it and can retire early when the house of cards you built collapses. You'd have to economically pressure them and it'd have to be all countries all together to make a big enough impact. I just don't see that happening though. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.